program that stands for Artisan Community Education. The program has been around for about 30 years. It was founded by David Kemp and by Martin Shirelli, who wanted to see professional artists return in a situation that they could take their expertise into classrooms and share an elevated kind of art with learners in schools in Ontario. The program looks very much like the program that every teacher candidate takes so that their training fits in with the OCT requirements. All of our students work in other classes with other students and then they come to a series of individual classes that are artisan community classes, one which focuses on community programming and one that focuses on creativity and learning. There are, I think, three different kinds of alternative placements. One can be a strategic placement that allows you to develop the network or the understanding of a workplace that you might see yourself in ultimately. One is a grand and glorious one that makes your resume shine. Uh, we've had people at the Lincoln Institute, we've had people at the Globe Theatre, uh, we've had people at Sesame Street, we've had people work all over the globe in their alternative practicum and we've had very generous hosts hosting our teacher candidates as well. practicum is a practical one. Many students are restrained with budget and realities or jobs that they have to remain in the community in which they are completing their other work. Um, that's not to say that there aren't opportunities down the street. I encourage students to dream big and to take those, dream, those big dreams, to capture the essence of those and to find them locally as well as globally. There are so many opportunities in every community and part of that creativity in thinking is to find those opportunities and quarry them in our own backyard. As the chair of the studio, and the coordinator of artisan community education. Um, I have been really lucky recently to blend those and have our artisan residents work closely with the arts and community students. The artisan community students come from mixed arts, so we require them to have a workshop with one artist in each of the different art forms that might be represented or not within the class, and to have an understanding of all art forms so that they can be a leader of arts-based education, not just in their form or their primary area in which they come in with an expertise. I don't know what our graduates are going to do. They always surprise me and I'm always learning about new jobs and new things that didn't exist 10 years ago. They're truly pioneers of arts-based programming in Ontario and around our globe. Arts and community students have a very interesting array of professions. Um, we have a an alumni group that keeps us apprised regularly as to what people are doing and what they're changing. Uh, many of the theatres in Toronto have alumni from ACE who are their outreach uh, representatives. We have galleries that have hired ACE people for their gallery educators. We're finding an increased uh, number of communities and municipalities starting to hire artists and community graduates as engagement people. Many of our ACE students have worked professionally in the field. They've exhibited extensively their artwork. They have worked in community theatres, professional houses. Musicians have cut CDs. We have such an embarrassment of riches in our grads and in our applicants, and it's quite overwhelming to realize that we can only take approximately 25 to 28 people a year. The world is changing. We're changing. Communities are changing. And as we develop arts education awareness, as we think more creatively, as we share our creative talents with people beyond the traditional realms of what arts and education and schools and communities have been, we find that we can 
cultivate for ourselves some new frontiers, that we can make the world a richer place. So when we go out into the world, I tell people to be aware of the shifting landscapes of education. The tectonic plates are changing constantly. And as we go out, we should not aim for the coast, but where the coast shall be. Thank you.